Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I got in these two packages from Right Stuff. Uh, the one in the bottom was really heavy, so I think I have an idea what's in there. Uh, we definitely got some great pickups for today's video. Uh, these were all things that I picked up from some of the sales that Right Stuff was having in January. Um, every week, Right Stuff has been having great sales. So if you guys haven't checked them out, uh, definitely check them out. I do have a link down below to their weekly deals and their daily deals. Uh, so go check that out if you guys are interested. Those are affiliate links, so if you do click on them, uh, they will help out the channel. Uh, but yeah, if you guys notice, we are also in a different location. Uh, my office is currently occupied, well, my office is currently being used. I have a bunch of paperwork all over the place. Uh, it is in, we are getting into tax season, so I have a bunch of paperwork organized across the desk, and I didn't want to mess that up, so I thought today I'd film upstairs in my theater room. And so yeah, I'll have my Blu-rays in the background, but to start off, I just wanted to show you guys these boxes. Uh, so all right, let's move into my Blu-ray shelf, and I'll, and I'll show you what's inside of these boxes. Uh, so we're gonna start off with the little box first. All right, so let's get this little box opened up. All right, so first thing in this box is some promotion to the newest Junji Ito manga, Remina. Um, haven't heard too many things about this one, but I'm not too into horror, so I probably won't be picking that one up, but if you guys are interested, it looks like in Right Stuff, they have it for $22.99. All right. All right, so taking off this top portion. Yeah, so you guys can see there, we got some manga, and we also got another Nendoroid, and I actually did was able to pick up Miku Nakano. If you guys know, I have been talking about the quintessential quintuplets a lot recently. And for me, Miku is definitely best girl. So I am pretty happy that I was able to pick this one up. Uh, she did go out of stock and she was unavailable. Uh, but I did set up an email alert. And one day I got an email saying that, hey, she's back in stock and available for purchase. So I picked her up right away. So yeah. Uh, you guys should definitely set up those email alerts if you guys are interested in picking something up that is out of stock. Um, right Stuff will just let you know as soon as uh, it becomes available again. And that's what happened here. So yeah, I'll show you guys this at the end of the video. Let's get these manga out of here. Alright, so now getting into the manga, uh, we do have a new, the newest release for Shuzo Oshimi's uh, newest manga, Blood on the Tracks. Uh, here is volume 4. I do have the first three volumes, but I haven't started it yet. Uh, but I've heard great things about this one. From what I hear, it's turning out to be probably one of Shuzo Oshimi's best uh, works, which I've heard a lot of great things of some of his other works. So it, so hearing that this one might be one of his best uh, really is saying something. So yeah, can't wait to get into this one. All right, the next series that was inside of that box was Plus Sized Elf. Uh, this is one that I did pick up volume one for in cheapmanga.com. They had it for six bucks. Uh, so I picked it up and then Right Stuff had a sale, uh, I believe the second or third week of January, they had like an elf sale going on. Um, and I decided to pick up Plus Sized Elf, a few more volumes. So I have volumes three, four, and five here. I believe volume two was out of stock. So I have that in a separate order for out of stock items. So I won't get that one till later, but uh, yeah. Excited to check this one out. I've heard great things from that man in his manga. And he says it's a really funny series. Uh, it's basically about these elves, or I think there's more than one elf, but uh, they're basically, they go to the human world and uh, they love their food so much and they ended up eating too much that they ended up getting overweight and in order to go back to their world uh, i believe they have to be the same weight that they came into the human world with uh, so in order to go back to their world uh, as you guys can see here they kind of have to start working out uh, to lose their weight and be able to gain access to go back to their world uh, so yeah sounds like a pretty funny series and from what i've heard from that man in his manga uh, the artwork in here is really great, so let's take a quick look at that. Alright, so here's a panel that I think is pretty appropriate to show you guys, but yeah. The artwork does look really nice, as you guys can see there. Uh, so, I'll be reading this one. Hopefully I enjoy it. Um, 
but if not i'll just end up selling out of mercari like i usually do if you guys have heard anything about this one uh, definitely let me know your thoughts and then finally one of my favorite series right now my favorite ongoing series that i do read as soon as i get these volumes i read them right away uh, so it's kind of late so i probably won't read this one today uh, but i'll definitely try and read it tomorrow although i am planning to read uh, the last volume of living stone so maybe the day after tomorrow but yeah gigant volume four i've been waiting for this one ever since i finished volume three uh so yeah i'm excited to check it out and i would definitely recommend it to you guys if you guys haven't started this one uh, although it is for older audiences so yeah uh, maybe some of the, un the younger viewers stay away from this one but if you are of age definitely check it out i think it's a pretty good read and yeah this was the last item in this first box so now we're going to move into the huge box the heavy box and I'm excited to show you guys what I picked up in there. All right, so the first thing in that bigger box, um, uh, let's get the smaller stuff out of the way. And uh, one of the series that I'm deciding that I am gonna be picking up is Boruto. So this one I wanna pick up because I've heard that the manga is a lot better than the anime. Um, I have started watching, I did start watching the anime a while back, but it was honestly kind of difficult to get through. Um, it just felt like a bunch of filler, so um, I just kind of dropped it and I haven't gotten back to it. But recently I have heard that the manga does do a better job uh, continuing the Naruto series. So yeah, I just kind of want to read through this just to see what um, the older characters are up to in this series. And yeah, I actually did end up getting volume 10. Uh, this was part of the sale last week, and I believe this is the newest volume that's um, that's been released. So pretty cool that I was able to get this one during the cell. Uh, here is volume 10. It has a pretty cool cover there. We have Naruto and Sasuke on the front and I'm not sure who this character is but, but if he's going up against Naruto and Sasuke he sh must be pretty strong. Uh, but yeah other than volume 10 um, I also got volumes 5, 6, and 7 in this box. I did pick up everything that's been released so far. I picked up volumes 1 through 10 but the other ones were out of stock. Uh, so I will be getting those at a later date, but let's take a look at these covers uh, for now. So here is volume 5. Volume 6. Seven. And then I already showed you guys volume 10. So yeah, my favorite out of these four is definitely volume 10. I just love seeing Sasuke and Naruto and their adult forms there. Uh, but let's take a quick look at volume five. This is the earliest volume, so I wanna just take a quick look at the artwork. All right, so honestly, the artwork is not the greatest. I was expecting it to be a little bit better, but um, I much prefer the art style in the anime, to be honest. Uh, Sarada there looks a little weird. Um, but I guess I can get used to it once I start reading it. Um, I just really do hope it's much better than the anime. So yeah, that's the artwork. And now, and now let's get into this next huge series. Uh, this is one that I have been wanting to pick up for the longest time. I just didn't know which um, format I was going to pick up. Uh, but it is one of my favorite series. So yeah, let's move on to that one next. Alright, so I wasn't kidding when I said this was a huge series. Because uh, I did pick up the Colossal Editions for Attack on Titan. Uh, this one here is Volume 1. And they're really heavy. Uh, volume 2, unfortunately, um, wasn't in stock. So I did place an order for it, but I probably will be getting it at a later date. Uh, but the next one here is Volume 3 with the Armored Titan. Then we have Volume 4 with the Beast Titan. And then finally, if you guys are keeping up with the new season, uh, we do have the Hammer Titan here, which was pretty awesome. We got to see him, or I guess we got to see it in action last week and it didn't disappoint. Attack on Titan is one of the animes, one of the few animes that I actually do watch as it's airing and I don't wait for the Blu-rays. And man, this season four, it's turning out to be a great season and I and I hate having to wait one week for a new episode but yeah unfortunately I guess all of us are having to go through that 
but yeah going back to these editions um i knew i always wanted to pick this series up in the manga format i just didn't know which edition i was going to pick up um i was actually going for going to try and pick up the box sets um they do have these nice box sets uh the artwork on them i thought was pretty nice uh, but then recently, last week, uh, they ended up having these on sale. And I do definitely like the bigger format. Uh, I haven't read any of my deluxe editions yet, but I have flipped through the pages and I just think they look amazing. So for Attack on Titan, I decided to go big and just end up picking up these um, colossal editions, which now looking at them, I think they actually look really awesome uh, next to each other like this. So I'm kind of happy that I went with these after all. And, and yeah, I picked up the Colossal Editions 1 through 5. So this takes us up until volume 25, I believe. Uh, so I guess I, I'm going to have to wait and see what they release for the future Colossal Editions. Because I believe the manga is almost finished. Um, I think they're going to finish it with volume 34. I'm not too sure. But yeah, I'm patient. So I'll just wait for the rest of these Colossal Editions to be released. So that way I can have the full series um, contained in all of the Colossal Editions. So let me grab volume one and show you guys how the artwork looks in these. So the artwork does look pretty good. Uh, definitely not as good as the anime. I love the anime, um, but but the artwork does look nice in this, these huge panels. So definitely happy with my purchase and and I love this series and I just can't wait to see how they're gonna conclude the story. Um, uh, but yeah, that was all the manga that I picked up. So uh, as I mentioned in the beginning, let's go ahead and take a look at that Miku Nindroid. Let me just move these big boys out of the way, which man, these are definitely really heavy. These are the heaviest uh, mangas that I have. None of the deluxe editions that I own like for Berserk or Helsing weigh as much as these guys. So these are definitely Colossal Editions is a good name for these editions. Uh, but yeah, let me move these out of the way. All right, so here's the box again for Miku Nakano. Um, here's the front. Here are the different poses you can make with this one. Let's see, which one do I want to make? Let's see, here's the back. I think that face is really cute. I like it when she makes that in the anime and the manga. But I think I'm just gonna go with this pose right here. Um, I just think for displaying purposes, her normal face might look better. So yeah, I'm gonna go with this pose. So let's take her out and see what's see what she looks like out of the box. All right, so here she is with all of this plastic on her. Let's go ahead and take that off as well. All right, so there she is out of the box. I think she looks pretty good. I'm um, still thinking about whether I should pick up the rest of these as well uh, as they're being released and just kind of uh, put all of the Nakano sisters in front of the manga. I think that would look pretty cool, but yeah, just wanted to kind of take... I'm kind of glad that they they released Miku first just because she is my favorite and I am really glad with this purchase. I think she looks really good and she'll definitely look good displayed in front of the manga. But all right, I think that's it for this video. Thanks you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this little unboxing of this Nindroid. Um, I am planning on getting more figures in the future because uh, I've seen some really awesome figures out there and I think they would look really great in my collection. So yeah, look forward to more future um, figure unboxings as well. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.